Hey, what's up guys? Matt here with Fix Anything Save Money. Today we're going to be showing you how to use a multimeter. This is the Kai Wheats Smart Digital Multimeter. It's model KM602. So we're going to be going over the features of this multimeter and then we're going to be showing you the basic functions of it. So you can see when we open it up, it comes with this nice case. Instructions are in the bottom of the box. And then when we open the case, you can see we have the multimeter itself, which we'll take out. And then we have our probes. We have our charging cable. This doesn't have external batteries that you put in. It has an internal battery that you charge with this USB. So that's really convenient and nice. And then it comes with these temperature probes. Okay, so let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is show you how to charge this. And to do that, we're just going to take our USB, put it into our adapter in our wall, or whatever you have to charge. And then we're going to flip this up, and you can see this is where we're going to charge it. And when you plug it in, it tells you the battery percent, tells you it's charging, and then it says warning, don't measure. So we're going to take it out so we could show you guys some stuff. So now to turn it on, we're just going to press this power button in for a couple seconds until we start to see it power up. Okay. So now it's powered up. And you can see it says auto, smart, and then it has the temperature displayed in Celsius. And then these down here are going to tell you which way to plug in these probes. So we'll take the probes out of the bag. So we have the probes. And now when it's in smart mode, it's just detecting between these three areas. So you don't have to mess with anything. You don't have to, there's no dial to turn to switch between AC and DC current. You pretty much just take out these little pieces right here that are in like this. Take that one out and then take the black one out, which I already have out. And we're just gonna plug the black probe into this middle port, like it says, into the comm. We're gonna plug the red into the input, like that. And now I'm gonna show you how this works. So we just have a nine volt battery that I know is brand new. And then we're just gonna test it. And it should come up that it should tell you that it's direct current, it should say DC, and then it should automatically show you the voltage. Okay, so you can see the voltage is displayed, 9.68 volts DC. Take it off, it's gonna go back down to auto. So what we can do is hold these in here, get our reading, and then if you want to save this or just kind of hold it, there's this button right on the side, this H button on top. So we're going to press that and that's going to lock in our measurement. And then we could take our probes off and it's going to keep that 9.68 volts. So we could reference it later if we want. And then if we press it again, it's going to go back to auto. Okay. So now we'll show you. So that automatically knew that this battery was direct current. Now we're going to go up to our outlet. We're going to take these off to expose more of the probe. And then we're going to measure this outlet. We should be getting 120 volts approximately. So we're going to stick the black probe into the neutral, which is the left. We're going to stick our red probe into the hot, which is the right, and then the bottom's the ground, we'll just leave that alone. So you can see here, we're gonna go, when we test an outlet, you wanna stick the black in first, you never wanna put the red in, and then with the same hand, you wanna put the red one in. So you can see here, we're reading 122.4 volts. Okay, and you can see that automatically went to AC that automatically told us that we're 
an alternating current. So that's pretty awesome. So you don't have to mess with any of that. And now we're going to see how this works. So we just have a fuse here. We're going to check the continuity. I just want to see if it automatically picks up that that's what we're trying to do. Yep, it automatically picks up the continuity. Tells us that our circuit's complete. And that's pretty cool. So then now I'll show you how to manually go over. So we're in the we're still in the smart mode, but if we hit this function button, that's going to put it kind of into a more manual mode. And you can see now we're in volts DC. And if we want to switch over to volts AC, we're going to hit this select button while the arrow is pointing to this V. And that's going to switch it over to AC, switch it back over to DC. Okay. There's our resistance and ohms. There's our continuity. Millivolts. Then we could go all the way over. Here's our temperature. So you can see right now it's just reading the room temperature. So it's just reading the room temperature of 78 degrees Fahrenheit, 25 degrees Celsius. But if we take this pack, And we're going to put this red in the input again, black in the com, okay. And now you can see this little probe here. So we're just going to touch it to our skin and we're going to pick up our skin temperature, which is about 91, 92 degrees skin temperature, 33 degrees Celsius. That's just our fingertip. Then when we let go, it's going to go back to measuring the room temperature. See it dropping. And then the last thing I want to show you guys, we'll unplug this. The last thing I want to show you guys, oh, I'll show you the flashlight real quick. So for the flashlight, we just want to press this top button in and hold it. And then our flashlight's going to turn on, which is great if you're working, you know, in the dark in an electrical panel. So then we'll press it again and hold it till it turns off. Okay. Okay. So now we'll just show you this also has a non-contact voltage tester. So what we can do is hit this function button until, it go, until the arrow goes all the way down to NCV live. And then for this, all we're going to want to do is plug in our red probe. And then we'll test our outlet. So let's say we don't know if this outlet is hot or not. We could stick this in. It tells us it's hot. So we know we're working on a hot outlet or any sort of hot wires, this is good for testing. So it's pretty much the same as a tick tester that you guys are used to using. It just kind of doubles as that. And yeah guys, that's the Kaiweets KM602 multimeter. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Also be sure to like, subscribe to the channel. Also be sure to check the link in the description on where you could buy this um, as an affiliate member. If you click on that link and buy this, I do get a small percentage it goes towards, you know, helping the channel grow, helping me create more content like this that helps you guys. So yeah, guys, that pretty much sums up this video. Be sure to reach out with any questions. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.